so I'm here in Salamanca with the legendary um, Roberta Iniguez. I am pleased to be with him because he's one of the most um, influential coaches in my career. And I get a chance to sit down to talk to him today. Uh, wow. Over 10 championships, uh, three coaches, coach of the year for the EuroLeague, and um, seven Final Fours with five different teams. And I think there was a EuroLeague championship in there, too. Yeah. How do you do it? Like, <laughs> this is, I mean, this guy is amazing. So how do you do it? Well, I think the secret is, um, is keep fighting. And, well, trying to think about, you don't know everything, no? You have to, to improve, you have to get better year by year. You have to know the players. And I think year by year I'm trying to improve my relationship with the players. And mm -hmm. this is very important, no? Mm -hmm. I think... Uh, very important for a coach is to understand the players. If you want they, they understand you first, you have to understand them. Yeah. You have to know them. Where they're coming from, how they are, character, family, uh, goals. Yeah. Uh, all these things. I think it's very important. And I think when the players um, feel you understand them, they, stand, they start to understand you. And if the players feel you helping them, the commitment is, is different. And I think that's what a lot of coach um, miss is that there's, it's important to have a player-coach relationship. And I think that you do that very well. And a lot of players who I've played with and have played for you yeah. as well, we all always say that he just knows how to get his players to do exactly what <laughs> he needs them to do. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, what a player needs coming over, sees. Um, a lot of younger players don't understand the European market and what coaches are looking for from them. Uh, what would you say to a rookie coming over? And my first question is, what is the biggest challenge coaching a rookie player? You know, in Europe, many general managers, you know, when you try to, to make the, the structure of the team, you know, to organize the team, when you talk about names, they don't want to listen rookies. They say, no, I don't want rookies. Yeah. I don't want to lose the time, you know, teaching them. And when you finish the season, they are leaving. And then here, you know, five, six, seven months, you know, working for them. I like rookies. But yeah. you have to know what kind of rookie you get. You know, the college, the yeah. education. If they are playing four years in the college, only zone defense, and you want to play men men So when you sign a player, you must know everything about them, you know, asking them, you know, asking uh, family or asking friends or asking coaches about, about this player. I have a lot of rookies. I have Kyle Albright. I have Tiffany Mitchell. I have now Bella Lari. Mm. For all of them, it's difficult the first year in Europe. Very difficult. It's important what I say, where they're coming from, the education, the cultural education and the personal education. Mm -hmm. And family, the city, uh, how they are living there. Yeah. The goals, yeah. why they are coming to Europe, only for money, only to make a career, and very important, the manager, the agent. Yes. Why the agent send these players, you know, or what kind of team is the best for these players. And, and you need to, to take a look before to take these players to Europe, what kind of mentality, mindset they, they, they have. Who is their coach and how they are working there. There are many things, but many things. It's not yeah. only one secret. Yeah. There are many things. And sometimes you take a look at about everything and it's not working. Yeah, they are that bad. They, I don't know. The chemistry of the team is, is good, it's bad, everything. You know, for us, I think we have, for example, a good chemistry in the team. It's very easy for the young players to come here. Yeah. Very easy for them. In other teams, you know, you have a lot of experienced players for a rookie player. Well, they are not living together out of the court. So there are many times alone. Yeah. They start to feel sad. And Homesick. This the, yeah, this is the worst situation. You know? like a, figure out Orenburg, figure out Kurs. Not a lot to do in the city. Uh, you know, Russia, yeah. how they are living. Very difficult. Oh. And, you know, you just mentioned about the, the team chemistry and how that works. Now, 
a lot of players never understand what happens and what's the thought process of a coach when they decide to release me, when they decide to cut me from a team. Um, a lot of players sometimes take it personal and say, well, I'm just not that good. But, you know, like you said, it's sometimes it's just that you just don't um, go with the team chemistry and maybe you're not the right fit for that particular team. So would you agree with that or? The players must feel, everybody, not only young players, everybody must feel the coach and the staff are trying to improve the players. Mm -hmm. So when they feel you you helping them one by one, without any difference, they start to feel good. They are improving. Mm -hmm. Their life, professional life and personal life, is going to get better. Yeah. So next year they are going to take better contract, better life, and you helping them. And they start to feel good. And they start to say, okay, coach sometimes is very hard with us. It's, it's a demanding coach. But we are going up. Yeah. They are starting to make a group. They start to understand uh, if somebody thinks different, is out. No chance. Yeah. Because the group is 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 strong. The heart of the, of the group. I think this is really good point. You know, to help the young players um, to understand that. Um, you know, stage sometimes. You know, it depends the college. It depends the team in India. But there are a lot of individual mentality. Yeah. Uh, Overseas is more of a team. Yeah. And here yeah. in Europe, you need the chemistry, you know, the hard season, long season. So I think you need this chemistry and you need. Many people think about the chemistry, so always talking about the group. I think different. The chemistry is starting one by one. Yeah. Focus your attention one by one. Winning the day one by one. When you talk about to the group, you know, there are not many focus. When I'm talking to you in Girona, and okay, I'm talking about the difference of the mm -hmm. team, okay, you are focused, but you say, okay, but what about me? What do you want about me? You know? Yeah. And when I talk about you, I bunny, I need you rebounding, uh, pushing, uh, feel good in offense, make your shots. Uh, I want your yeah. character, your defense. And you say, okay, I know my job. And mm -hmm. now I'm ready to make my job and I'm ready to help the team. Mm -hmm. Because clearly, I know what I have to do. Yeah. Well, I mean, I remember... So it's one by one. I remember the first day you were in Girona, and I thought I was doing a pretty okay job. <laughs> and you look at me and you said, Vane, you don't run the floor. I need you to run faster. I'm like, yeah. okay. <laughs> All right. You know, and you know, a I lot of... I remember I say to you, you know, I want you to play hedge out. Yeah. And you say, hedge out, but maybe I have problem to record. <laughs> no, you will do. Yeah, no, it's, but it's, it's crazy because um, a lot of time we're not specific enough with what we need from the players. As coaches, like you, you're not specific enough with what you need from the players. So therefore, the players go the entire season yeah. very confused of their role yeah. and what you need them to do. Yeah. And even though I kind of understand my importance in that team in Girona, but you made it very clear of, okay, I need you to do this, this, and this. Yeah. And every game focusing on those things, it just made the game so much easier. Well, How do you feel that our, our, our athlete for athletes, our organization can help players to prepare for you guys coming over? Well, I think we're talking, you know, some years ago is, is it's very difficult to, to get these possibilities. And I think, you know, uh, for example, what you're trying to do is very important. Um, if I don't think about uh, your organization or other organizations or the clubs, you know, what we're trying to do is not important, I will not be here, you know, talking with you. Mm -hmm. For me, this moment is not losing the time. This moment is trying to help somebody who is trying to help others. So I feel very comfortable doing that, you know. I don't feel comfortable helping someone uh, who is thinking about business. Yeah. Okay, finally, maybe it's your business in the future, but mm -hmm. it's the business with the goal to help other players. Yeah, Passion. This is the first goal. And after that, it's the way of living. Okay. Mm -hmm. But because you're helping the players. So I think mm -hmm. we must serve the coaches, and sometimes we are 
so ugly with that about okay I don't I don't I don't want this this coach knows what I'm doing because okay this is my this is my way this is my so yeah. I don't want they they know okay what we have to do anything one okay in summer sometimes we need to share you know with the coaches with the players with people like you okay what we can do you know to help the young players or the experienced players or the players with mental problems or the players with this kind of of problems, no? and we must give them the possibility to, to get coaches, to get people. We didn't even talk about the head. Yeah. We talk about basketball. We talk about okay, rookies, but we didn't talk about mental health. Mental, and this is very important. Very important. Right now, there are a lot of pressure, a lot of stress, and if the head is not running, going in the right way, it's very difficult. Your body for the head. So. All these kind of things is very important and we don't have to think about ego or to be selfish. And we have to help people like you with your goals because we need that. Professional life is, is, is stronger and stronger and, and higher and higher and there are a lot of competition to be there. And, and the players need help and it, they need organization like, like you are trying to do. Thank you. Well, um, that's that's kind of summing up what we did. We're we're here to talk about. Um, 